We just had the second and the third biggest bank failures in the history of the United States. It happened in just a few days. You would think that this would be terrible news for the REIT sector, and yet I actually think that it's pretty good news. How is that possible? Hey everyone, this is Yossi. I run an investment firm that specializes in REIT investing. And in today's video, I'm gonna to talk to you about how the latest banking crisis could actually benefit the REIT sector. Make sure to stick till the end of this video because I will also highlight one of my favorite REIT investment opportunities at the moment. And finally, before I get into it, if you could please like this video, it will help me a lot. Thanks a lot. So how could this banking crisis benefit REITs? The answer is quite simple. It all comes down to interest rates. Let's back up a bit. So REITs collapsed in 2022 because interest rates surged. It caused their share prices to drop by right around 30% on average. And a lot of the smaller, highly leveraged REITs dropped by up to 50%. And so if REITs collapsed due to rising interest rates, simple logic would tell you that a drop in interest rates will benefit them and lead to a recovery. Well, I'm telling you this because one unintended consequence of this banking crisis is that it caused interest rate to drop very significantly significantly. We just saw the sharpest drop in the two-year treasury since 1987. And then Goldman Sachs also issued a statement that they essentially don't expect a rate hike anymore in March. If you also look at Fed swaps, they are now starting to price interest rate cuts by the end of this year. And some people are already predicting some very significant ones of up to 100 basis points. What this banking crisis essentially showed us is that our financial system cannot handle these very significant and rapid interest rate hikes. And so these bank failures were the first cracks. And I think that's a strong telltale sign to, to the Fed that perhaps they, they must pivot or reconsider hiking rates so significantly. And so again, this benefits rates because they've crashed over the past year due to expectations of materially higher interest rates. But these expectations are now coming back down. And so if interest rates aren't going that high after all, then I think that REIT share prices should also recover from here. One of my favorite trades to buy at the moment is a company called Alexandria Real Estate, ticker symbol ARE. I just recently published a separate video on it. I'll put a link somewhere on the screen. You can click on it to be redirected. But in short, this is a blue chip rate that specializes in life science buildings. And its share price has dropped very significantly over the past year because it's commonly perceived to be a growth rate. And share price collapsed recently when the news came out that uh, the city Silicon Valley Bank will fail because a lot of its tenants are smaller biotech companies and so they are clients of uh, Silicon Valley Bank and so for a short moment the market feared that perhaps the tenants wouldn't be able to make their rent payments if their deposits aren't safe. But now the government already stepped in, they guaranteed the deposits and so this risk has been greatly mitigated. And then on top of that I also think that Alexandria Real Estate is one of the REITs that would stand to benefit the most from lower interest rates because it specializes in lower cap rate, higher growth assets and so these typically are more heavily affected they are more sensitive to interest rates again if you want to learn more about this company i'll put a link in the screen i think that it's very opportunistic now trading at a four percent dividend yield it's, it's the high yield yield in five years for the company and i think that has 50 to 100 percent upside potential in the coming years so to recap shortly here the recent banking crisis obviously isn't a positive thing it created a lot of uncertainty but i think that the government did the right thing by stepping in and guaranteeing the deposits and and one of the unintended consequences, which happens to be very positive to REITs, is that it has now lowered the expectations for future interest rates. And yet the market hasn't yet reacted to it due to all this uncertainty. But I think that ultimately, this is bullish news for REITs. Now, if you want to learn more about what other REITs I'm buying at the moment, feel free to join my REIT newsletter for a two-week free trial. I'll put a link in the description of this video. And otherwise, again, please like and subscribe. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.